I get questions all the time about saving and storing bacon grease. And you know, the reality is, is that there is so much flavor in this bacon grease, whether you're using it to season greens and beans, fry your eggs or saute vegetables, it's worth its weight in gold. So we wanna save this for future use, but there's a right and a wrong way to do that. I fried some bacon earlier for breakfast and I've allowed this bacon grease to get to room temperature. Now it's super important that we let that happen. Dealing with hot bacon grease is a recipe for disaster and nobody wants to get burnt. So allow it to cool to room temperature and then we're gonna need to strain this. Now straining is important because the bits of bacon that are left in that grease will cause this to go rancid a lot faster. When we eliminate that bacon and strain it out, we can store this bacon grease for even longer. Now, I've got a large measuring cup here that's glass. I've put a fine mesh strainer right over the top and it's perfectly okay to just use the strainer. I'm also going to put about two layers of cheesecloth here just to get even more of that stuff out. My pan is cool, so all I'm gonna do is pour this right in to the cheesecloth and the strainer here. Now see what's gonna happen is, this is gonna strain away all those pieces of fat and bacon that we don't want in our bacon grease. Once that's all drained through, then we're gonna transfer it to another container. Now there are all kinds of fun containers out there to store your bacon grease in, but I recommend that you use something that's gonna seal tightly. I like to use just a mason jar with a tight fitting lid. I also have this great sealable ice cube tray that allows me to pour the bacon grease into these individual wells. That way I can pop one out and use it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour this right into my jar here. And you can see how perfectly clear this is. I'm gonna put my lid on here. Now you probably remember your grandmother or your great grandmother storing this right on the back of the stove or on the countertop. And it's perfectly okay to do that for a little while. But the reality is, is that we know that it's better to store this in the fridge or the freezer. Tightly lidded like this in the fridge, it's good for three or four months. In the freezer, it's good indefinitely. Pop it out, let it come to room temperature and you can use it however you wish.